wanted to get some clarification on Turkey and, and Egypt. Why, why do you think that the competition between the two countries has kind of been fabricated, I guess, it's, or, or isn't well, really there? Well, the, there is, there is um, a, a type of tourism, let's say, that is based on very low cost, mm -hmm. which essentially sells one product, and that is sun and sea. Okay. The, what we want to do is we want to differentiate the products depending on the guests that are coming to our country. For example, we find that the, in the United States, people are a lot more drawn to our uh, ancient culture. In Russia, they are far more drawn to our Byzantine culture. Um, the Chinese have a particular affiliation, uh, affinity to the uh, GNC. Yeah. And um, we, we find by targeting our message and by building an experience as opposed to just a hotel, to be able to attract many more people exactly as we like them you know, to come to Greece and experience what they want to experience. Yeah. So essentially by, by attaching the client to the experience, we can be far more targeted in how we approach them. So we spend a lot less money uh, getting our message to them. And then when they come, their experience is much more enriched than one that only involves being in a very, uh, you know, in, in, in a hotel and sitting on the, uh, on the sun. Understood. And in, in terms of messaging, can you talk about what you're doing or what you're planning in terms of getting kind of a positive image of, of Greece out there? Well, one of, one of the tools that we find most effect, effective in uh, the kind of work we're doing is the, is the internet. Mm -hmm. We find that in the internet we have the capacity to find our, um, our guests much more effectively and to um, exchange information with them, not just bombard them with information. As you know, television is a one-way communication tool, while the internet is a two-way communication tool, and that is the way to collect the information necessary in order to build a much more effective campaign. And that is saving us a, a, very, a, a lot of money, and uh, hopefully bring us uh, a different kind of uh, guest to Greece. I see, and, and we see uh, pictures of, um, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but Calamira? Uh, the campaign uh, up there is that. Oh, Calimera. Yeah, Calimera. Yeah. Calimera is means that good part day of that? Greece. Good day. Uh, yes, it is. It's um, it's a uh, it's a message that um, shows that we are uh, on a new beginning, that uh, Greece is becoming a new kind of tourist destination, and it's a sneak preview of what um, we will be seeing in the future as far as strategy in Greece is concerned. I see. I see. And is it by being on the internet? Does that mean it works faster? I was just concerned that. Uh, these image campaigns take a long time to... to oh, it, 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 it works a lot faster. For example, this year we have a message that we wanted to um, bring across. And um, it, the message is this. This is the year of um, where we commemorate uh, two and a half thousand years since the Battle of Marathon. Uh, that is a huge cultural, sport and tourist event for us. Mm -hmm. And um, it, the, battle, the, the marathon run in Greece will be in October. So we're bringing together, we're getting that message across to marathon runners who are mostly on the internet. We're taking our message to the various uh, big marathons around the world. And we're challenging people to come run the marathon in Greece. Now, that is partly for the particular event, but partly in order to put the Greek marathon back in the place where it deserves, because yeah. that is the original marathon. And for years, it had not been developed correctly. So there's a product that can that can provide Athens with uh, another week's worth of uh, guests and travelers that uh, has never been used in the past, and we're using it now, and we're doing it through the internet, which is the most effective way of getting to the people who want to try it. I see. Um, just last couple of questions. Um, again, on the on the selling of the island issue, do you do you feel as if that's something coming from? the people, kind of the tension between Germany and Greece on that issue, or is it more the press, would you say? No, I think you... at, at the time of, uh, of tension, uh, a lot of people get uh, excited and they say things they don't uh, mean, and I'm sure that the people who said these things don't really mean them. It yeah. was uh, more something that happened in the particular time, uh, time frame and not something they uh, actually thought about very clearly. They actually felt, I see. And if, uh, and if you had to say something to Germans who perhaps are a little discouraged, from traveling to Greece, what, what, would, what would you say to convince them? Oh, that uh, we are expecting them to come to Greece and that uh, they will uh, find nothing less than uh, Greek hospitality when they get there.